my favorite thing is is skating down the street you know what i mean just hitting things random here and there if the spot's at like 23rd street it's like why are you going to drive there the best part is skating to the spot at any given time you'll be skating and it's always different it's just completely random chaos that's going on and you're just like meshing with that environment it's just so such a spontaneous experience skating in the city and you know it's that old saying it's not the destination it's the journey it's like totally true odell one of the uh, best spots come on stay with me come 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 follow me fast Hi, welcome back to Epically Later. This show is about Steve Rodriguez. Steve is one of the most diehard skaters I've ever come across in my entire life. And to me, he's exactly the kind of person that you want to be owning skateboard companies. So Steve Rodriguez, he runs Five Bro. It's a small company, they don't run ads, they're independently owned, but they've made such a big name for themselves just on like a grassroots level by always having you know, the best local skaters and the best up and coming people. Over time, his team has had some of the biggest names in the East Coast. Five Bro is a company that's just about skateboarding. He's just in it for the right reasons. Uh, I've been skating since around 1983. I moved to New York and I've been here since. Uh, I've been doing Five Bro 11 years. I came up with the idea, said, you know, I want to make a company. I want to make a company that represents what we're, what we're about. It's just a totally different structure of a company. Like I'd say 25% of Fibro's job is working with the city of New York to make sure that skateboarding is represented well in New York City, dealing with parks and places to skate, things like that. So it's more than just a company that makes boards. The city, like two years ago, the city wanted to renovate like all downtown parks and this is one of the parks downtown. They said because a lot of kids skate here, the only skate area was actually gonna be this pathway right here on top, that's it. So everything else was gonna be like taken out. We got involved, went to the, uh, the council meetings, talked to the people and said, you know, they're always bitching how stuff's gonna cost so much money, this and that and the other thing. And you guys know no one would hang out down here besides skaters, cause it's like under a bridge, it's dirty, blah, blah, blah. The city, like two years ago, the city wanted to renovate like all downtown parks, so they said like, okay, well, we're gonna like take out the little banks. And it kind of sucks, because that's like where all the history really is, you know, about the Brooklyn banks, is that the small banks. And I, I don't know. I mean, this area is fun, but if you ever skated over there, it was sick, because it was kind of like a hip, like a wave, not a flat bank, so, you know. Oh my God. If you're just in New York City, everybody like has to go to the banks or whatever because it's kind of like, you know, you would definitely go to EMB if it was still there. You know, even if you couldn't skate there, because I remember going there when you couldn't skate there and you just see people there anyway because it's EMB. You know what I mean? A lot of kids like, oh, I want to go to Love Park, even though they know they probably won't be able to skate there. Freedom Plaza, Pulaski in DC. There's like all these like holy grail places that you're just going to go because it's history, it's like, you know, it's going to see the pyramids if you're like a tourist or whatever and you go to Egypt, it's something you have to see. Yo, this is the Harold thing where I remember seeing Harold skating here ollieing over this, this black rail off this thing down to the bottom and I could swear he was doing it for money once. Like, you know, just joking around but at the same time taking the money. But there used to be a guy that would jump the garbage cans here. Back when they were the wire mesh, but it was pretty sick. I mean, that's like one of the first things, like that when I was, that's when I was like 10 years old or whatever, seeing that shit and you're just like, damn. But this, this was a, uh, this was a super, I'd say late 80s, early 90s, people would skate this area right here. I don't know, this was like a, for, for a minute, this was, I don't know, for a good like three years probably or more, everybody used to skate here, like these ledges. These were actually, you could skate them, they're like so chunked now. Just remember like coming in the city, seeing so much shit go down. This is actually, I met Gons right there. That was the, this is the first place I ever met Mark Gonzalez. 
uh, I remember we were just skating down Fifth Avenue, and there was like some, it wasn't, it was more crowded than today. There was just some event going on. And just seeing him skate right here was like, you know, you're just so blown away. You're like, fuck, that's Mark Gonzalez. Look at this shit. I know someone's ollied into this. I think front side 180, but I think there was a back side 180. Grosso will probably know. Into the fountain, like, that's pretty sick. Even for even by today's standards, that's sick, you know? Actually, when Lenny Kirk and Anthony Correa came to New York, I remember taking them around the spots, and those two just like, seriously, like destroying everything. This shit's fun, dude. And you could tell it's skated because look, it's, it's fresh paint. See, look, see, get, get the security guy. You mean we really can't skateboard here? Aw, uh, I'm bummed, man. I came all the way from New Jersey. Anyway, so this is a fucking sick spot. And I don't know, that guy's not there at night. I don't usually come here in this early. But uh, just front boarding this whole thing or trying to front board the whole thing, it's sick. There's a new sidewalk. I know when Harold did this shit, when he 50 50 it, which is pretty sick, because if you flip over, you know, you get killed. But uh, the sidewalk was rough. It was, it was like that. Yo, I've never seen footage of someone doing this this way. Have you? Yeah, this way, no. But I either either saw it in person or saw it in a video. Someone ollied from here into there, Anthony Korea. That's sick. Get up here, Odell, check this out. Yo, but he ollied from here into that shit. That's asking for some fucking teeth fucking to be removed. This is fucking sketchy. You wanna check out the other gap over there? I don't know, dude. This fucking ground is so shitty. It's pretty sick, but you know what I mean? It's just another one of those spots where it's just because of the way it's set up. It looks cool, whatever, but this is sick. I don't think I ever ollied this, and I don't think I ever will. You know? See how we're all old, we don't just jump down. Take the stairs. Yo, Adele, I hope you got that guy. Damn. So I don't know, so this is Union Square. There, there was like a time when Union Square was the place to skate. Two sets of steps here. I remember my board, uh, trying to front side 360 down it, my board smacking me in the face so hard, it made a hole. It, like, I had actually had like the weird stitches to close a hole right here. And back then it wasn't like, now, nowadays you'd never come and like, well, let's skate these steps. Yeah. This shit was like so waxed up and it was like the only, one of the only like curved, like little curbs. You know, uh, John Carter doing slappies on this, just like super, uh, Hamilton. Like all those guys would roll through here, skate this stuff. You'd see people actually grind both like this. I don't know, this place was fun, dude. <laughs> Over here, Odell. So you want to talk about Burton Smith's destruction of this it, you know, it's, this is like 32 inches high. The ground was kind of, you know, it's smooth, whatever, but it's still sick. I think he like fakie ollied this, half cabbed it, uh, maybe switch 180. He might have even pop shoved at this. He's so good. That kid was like killing it at, the, at that time, you know? Um, and I know again, Jemmy, should we go to the other side? <laughs> but, uh, you know, the famous Rob Jemmy. He board slid this shit over these little nipples. It's very sick. So actually, and the, the most like spot for advanced people was over here, this round ledge. Remember people skating this shit back here? Anyway, this was like, this was sick, this, this ledge, this round ledge right here. Doing like back lifts around this. Just like, you know, tail slides, all that shit. But this definitely was a sick, to me, this is like a legit spot where it was fun and a lot of people filmed shit here. Yeah. It's like underneath here when it would rain, a lot of people would go down to the subway and there was kind of like a ramp, just like a walking ramp, but it was like super wide. It was the whole hallway and people used to just skate it, like set up shit and do ollies and stuff. I don't know, it was fun when it was raining. Do you remember the second coming of Union Square when they redid this park right here? So everybody used to like, they came, everybody came back to Union Square to skate. 
but there was like really nothing else, nothing new to skate. It's just they extended the sidewalk. Right, this this spot was like it was good for a while because it was all that construction material, you know what I mean? And then when they finished, it was like good for a while, but whatever. But let's go check it out. I mean, you used to come down off the steps and then probably to where this like large circular <laughs> circular pattern was, that was actually the street. So I remember some like crazy BMX guy, uh, Brendan Kennedy, he Brendan Kennedy actually like bunny hopped off the steps into the street. Which was seriously, it was like 20 fucking feet or something like that. It was like kind of impossible. Like, damn, I can't believe this guy did it. I saw him do it. I was like, damn, that's sick. Did you ever get my message about those, that kid I heard? I was in like the middle of nowhere. And he said something about like, he got latered. You ever get my message? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was fucking dying. A lot of people skateboard here, sir? No, and I'm saying do a lot of people try to though. They try to, but they don't. Uh, they, they don't allow that here because yeah. that's the guy uh, that runs the building. The boss. So, well, you know, the boss with his security, ladies. You know. Hey, hey, check it out, epic. No, 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 He's got an epic no, pin. No, no. It's a pin that says epic, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like, this was. Uh, There's another little gap right here, over the stairs and over the fence, like quote unquote, something you'd see like in a magazine in California, you know what I mean? But it, it actually was here and you could skate here. First Fibro video, Mike Peterson has that shit. He does a front side 180 over it or something like that. Wanna go that way? That's a good opening, like the cube, the biggest non-spot spot there is, you know? Or there was. Well, at the time, this was like the TF, like everybody just, it's like the default spot to go doing manuals on six inch curbs. This curb had more, has been session more than anything. It kind of sucked too, because it had this lip on it that you locked in, but it was like, you probably had to slide the whole thing in order to get out, you know? If you really think about it, it's just really more like, it doesn't, it's not really the tricks, it's just like, oh shit, that's in New York City. You know what I mean? And then right away, that gives it so much more validity. Harold had some lines here just doing like manuals. It's just, I, I'll admit I, you know, back lifted a couple times with the cool guys in the background. You know? Now, there's, there's plenty of places to skate besides this place. This is just, this is a lot of people who can watch you here. It's just kind of like a hangout spot. Like a perfect example is why did people, what is the real reason people stop skating at the Brooklyn Banks? It's because they put that fence on the wall and you could no longer sit there. So at the time, you know, all the people that used to go down there and sit on the wall, it was no longer a spot because they couldn't sit there. Here there's plenty of room to sit, so. It's just people wanting to be, to get associated with that, the New York experience and skating in New York City. You know, I really, uh, I don't know. When you think about it, so much of it, so much of that footage is, you know, it's awesome, it's classic to see people skating like at, the, at an old spot back in the day, this and that. But was the like skating really like up to par? I don't know, was it? Was it not, is it just the same shit? I don't know, because when you, when why, if it was really a good spot, why aren't people skating here right now? You know? Am I, am I being pretty negative here, uh, Odell? <laughs> I'm not, it's just more like reality, dude. 